Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, this here drone that I'm holding here, this tiny little drone, see the size of my hand and the size of the drone? This is the Iashin Trash Can. And it is your typical FPV drone, except it's a really good FPV drone. And if you look close, look at the motors. Those are brushless motors on this tiny little drone. Yeah, so that means power, tons of power. So this is a type of drone, if you're into FPV drone racing and you wanna fly indoors or outdoors, well, let me tell you this. If you're gonna fly indoors with this thing, you better be in a gymnasium because I tried to fly this in my house indoors and it didn't work out. And I'm gonna show you that in this video. I did fly it outdoors and it flies outstanding. It's phenomenal. But uh, in the summertime, this would be the drone I would use. The reason I say but is because it's winter here right now and this is so tiny. If I crash this in the snow, I'm never finding it. It's just going to go in the soft snow, chook, make a tiny little hole and I will never find it. So I can't really fly this in the wintertime outdoors unless I'm in a big parking lot or something. But I did take it outdoors to uh, just so I could show you in this video. Now I'll also say this, if you're somebody who wants to get into FPV, you've never flown FPV race drones before and you want to buy the goggles and you want to get your controller, I would not start with this drone. This drone is like a handful of power. It just goes, goes, goes. You better know what you're doing if you get this drone. So if you're watching this video and you already fly FPV drones, then this is perfectly fine for you. And it's not very expensive and you get four batteries. So you can get a lot of flight time in the batteries. Look at how tiny the batteries are. I've got two one cell batteries stacked on top of each other just to make a two cell battery. But those batteries are like, you know, they're under $10 at a hobby store, so. Yeah, so to fly this thing, it's not that expensive. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna show you a quick unboxing. You get this, uh, turn around here, you get this nice little case to carry it around inside, and it comes with a whole host of other little things inside. I'll show you the unboxing of that. And then I'll show you it flying right here where I'm sitting, because I always like to test these drones out uh, indoors. And when you test out little FPV drones like this, it's a lot of fun because they're kind of wild. And then I'll uh, try to fly it around my house, which doesn't turn out well. And then I'll take it outside, which, which is much better. Anyways, so uh, here's the video. And now a quick unboxing of the trash can and my model is the DSMX receiver version. It comes in a nice case, open that up and let's see what we have inside. Whoa, check that out. You get, uh, well, this would be instructions on how to connect your receiver and your controller. Also shows you all the details of the flight controller right here. So if you want to attach anything, that looks pretty interesting. Down here, we have the actual trash can itself. Let's bring it close. Looking at the front of the drone, we see the camera right here. This is supposed to be a really good camera. It's a 1200 TVL uh, camera. I do have a DSMX receiver in mine. It does shoot out a video signal at 1200, oh sorry, at 200 milliwatts. On the back here you can see there's some LED lights right there and a little trash can logo right there which is a nice little touch. On the bottom you have your little USB connector so if you want to adjust your beta flight settings you can do it through that there is I saw a button on here oh there it is right there I could see it right there that is for your uh, video channels and band there's a little button you push right there to change your bands and your channels also on the bottom you'll see you have two connectors for two batteries and the batteries are one cell so it turns into like a two cell flight and uh, if you look at the motors the motors are actually brushless motors Pretty decent motors, very powerful for a little thing like this. So this thing here, you have a choice. You can either fly it really nice and slow and controlled or go crazy and fly it really fast and out of control. The props on the drone are very common. You pick these up at any hobby store. Let's see, I've got a little Iashin M80 here. Same type of props on it. Uh, no, that's smaller. I've got a little blade inductrix here, but these are smaller than the trash cans blades. The kit also comes with batteries. So I can see right here, there's four batteries so you get four batteries included with the kit and the batteries of course one cell batteries Iashin branded batteries and they're actually rated at the max of 80c but normally they'll be 40c and uh, yeah there are 300 milliamps so these won't last too long but since you run two at a time that's 600 milliamps of power so you probably get maybe about uh, three minutes flight time if you're lucky with two batteries and the other two, another three minutes. And to charge all these batteries, they include this really wild little charger, USB charger here. There you go, you plug the battery into this, plug this little USB thingy in, and uh, you'll charge up your batteries. And the big question is, how much does this little guy weigh? Put them down, it's 34 grams. And of course it takes two batteries to fly, so let's just put two batteries here, and we're at 
Well, 50 grams. So this thing is a way under the 250 gram limit of most countries, which say anything 250 and more. You need a license or something to fly it. This thing's under it, so have fun. All right, this Iashin trash can is a really cool drone, but it's designed to fly outdoors, not really indoors. But I'm just going to see if I can hover it right here. So I'm going to put my GoPro hat on so you can see what I see. Turn my little controller on, and yes, I'm on the trash can right there. So all set to go with that. Make sure all my switches are in a certain position. Nothing's up. Good. I've got that set for five minutes. That is totally wrong for the trash can. I'm going to have to change that timer. Connect the second battery and it should give enough power that the flight controller switches on. There we go. There we go. Let it level itself. Looks pretty sweet. All right. So I should have full control of it here with my little controller. Let's see if I can try not to destroy this here drone. Now, I don't know what setting I'm in. Well, let's just go and see. I'm just going to arm it. Here we go. My arm butt. There we go. What am I in? Okay, that's, that is the sound of a stabilized hovering. That's a little bit more well. And that's off. I think that's stabilized hovering. Let's try that. See if I can control it. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. It's like the smallest touches I'm doing on it to keep it going. Let's go. There we go. That thing just wants to go. I don't think I have it in acro mode at all. I think I just have it in uh, stabilized. But uh, yeah, if you've never flown FPV drones before, you have to have really good hand-eye coordination. So my eye sees something and my little fingers are adjusting what I see to try to keep it in the air. All right, so I'm gonna have to fly this around the house for some fun. Okay, so my plan right now is to take the trash can and fly it in my house. This is not designed to fly in a house, around a house. It's kind of evening right now, there's not a lot of light happening. So I'm gonna fly it in the house, put my FPV goggles on, and I'm gonna record what the trash can sees on the FPV goggles. It's not gonna be high quality because it's a very low quality signal, but at least you'll see it whipping around my house. Oh, hang on, going through this hole. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> there's the ceiling. Whoa, still going. This is not designed to fly indoors. Not at all. Look at me, there's my head. Whoa, there's the floor. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to take this outdoors because this is way too fast and I'm trying to fly it as slow as possible. Gotta take it outdoors. All right, I'm outdoors here. It's uh, kind of cold. It's like uh, minus nine degrees Celsius, but there's not a lot of wind and uh, I'm going to uh, fly the trash can in my front yard. Now, I would normally take it out to a field, but uh, it is winter and when you get out to a field, it's cold and there's more wind in a field. And if I lose it in the snow, it's so tiny, I'll probably never, I'd probably never find it. So I'm gonna fly it here in my front yard and not go too far. Let's see, I can show you. So I'm out here and I'll just try to keep it out in this area and uh, see how it goes. Oh, I love my chair here. This is like, this is salt for my, uh, my roof and my driveway. So uh, one thing to mention is I haven't flown FPV for about two months, you know, with the cold in the winter and it is going to be cold in my fingers. So it's going to be pretty scary FPV. I'm probably going to crash this. The other thing I want to mention is that here's the little trash can here. Um, it's very tiny and the batteries, it's not going to work well in the cold. Uh, I'm also going to use my FPV goggles here, my fat sharks. And the video you're going to see from this little camera is what I'm going to record on the fat sharks. So the image quality is going to be pretty low. Like I'm talking like not even 720p. We're talking like 640 by something. Uh, I'll stick it on the screen and uh, at least it'll give you an idea of what you can see. Now, the thing I should mention about the trash can is that go watch other reviews of people flying this in the summertime. It's amazing how this drone flies. Uh, but here in the winter, in the cold, with the snow and where I am, I can't make it fly amazing. But uh, here you go, here's a little demo. My controller on, connect these batteries. So in the cold with this here trash can and these batteries, I will get, you know, next to no flight time. I might get maybe a minute flight time, not much. If it's in the summertime, you'll get about three minutes or more. There we go, put that down. Okay, so what you should see on the screen is what I see in my FPV uh, fat sharks and it says disarmed. Now I have to be careful, as you saw, there's lots of cars going by. So I'm gonna arm it. There we go. And I'll try to keep it kind of level. 
There we go. I'll keep it slow here. Keep it up in case any cars come. So there's my neighborhood. Going back to me. It's a very fast road. See how far... I don't want to go too far down the street because I'll lose transmission. And I don't want to go on anybody's roof. So I'll keep it low. Whoa, watch that tree. <laughs> there you go. I'll see if I can slow it down. But there you go. You get the idea. This is a really cool drone for uh, flying around. Ooh, <laughs> hit the road there. And... Uh, if it was summertime and I was out flying, and if this thing had a 1080p image, it would be pretty cool. Right now it's, it's pretty low quality. But uh, that's it, so what do you think? Pretty sweet, eh? In the summertime you'll see me flying this and I'm gonna have a lot of fun. So I'm gonna try to bring it back to me now. And then I'm gonna try not to crash it right here. <laughs> Disarm. <laughs> Wow, that was pretty interesting. It's a pretty sweet drone. Uh, if you want to find out more about this, you can either watch other reviews. This is available on the Banggood website because it is an Iashin uh, drone. And I don't think it's very expensive. It's one of the most popular FPV drones on the market today in this size with the little brushless motors. So you should really check it out. I don't know if I have any coupons for discounts or anything, but check out the links below. It's a uh, it's a really good drone. It's obviously going to be one of my favorites for the summertime, but in the winter time here where I'm flying, I can't do much. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Take care. and We'll catch you in the next one.